Hi everyone. Um, I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video, and I was actually considering not making any more because it was just becoming uh, a bit of a hassle to keep making them. But I decided to keep doing it. Yay! Uh, it's finally it's been summer. I've been out of um, school for a bit now, but I just got back from a really fun trip. So. Um, I decided to make a video, and the title, it, as you could probably would have read it by now, yes, goths are colorful. Ah, <gasps> yes. But yes, we don't all just wear black, and we're all not depressed. Most of us are actually really, really bubbly and fun to be around. We're actually sometimes even one of the most happi happiest, kindest, fun people to be around. But, um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because a friend, a very, very close friend of mine, um, we were talking about this, and I just thought, you know, I should share my opinion on it. So, uh, most people that are goth, you know, we, some of us, you know, may dress like all black, and that's fine if you're goth, or I like to say just alternative, because goth is just very stereotypical. Just my thought. But, um, uh, but some examples of people that aren't, you know, that are still considered goth, or let's just say alternative. Alternative. That are alternative. Let's stick with that. Yay. I like that word. Um, they basically wear a lot of color. For example, um, one of my favorite, um, very, very beautiful people that I like to watch on YouTube, or she just inspires me sometimes with my makeup or whatnot, is Adora Batbra. If you don't know who she is, look her up, look up her YouTube, and just she's really colorful but she's really really nice from her videos I can just tell I don't know her personally I just watch and get inspired by her and um or if you are looking for the more traditional looking um alternative or goth person in this case um Sebastian Columbine is a good one that I she, I like to watch her a lot she's really a good person and she has a really good thoughts on a lot of stuff like this so you should go check her out as well um and another person that I just thought of is I think her channel is called Kaz Loves Bats if I'm correct but she's she loves fantasy type looking things but she's still alternative but she has some color incorporated like in her hair mostly, but I don't know, I, I like her hair a lot. I love it. But, um, my point is, just because you're alternative, or goth in this case, doesn't mean that you have to dress all black if you don't want to. I like black. Black is my favorite color. I love it. But, you know, the only time, I, I like a bit of color. Like, not my clothes, but usually I like to, um, wear it, maybe as like I do my hair, like I add a bit of like red into it with the black or I have like today I have purple eyeshadow and so I mean it's good. I mean if you want to wear black, go ahead. If you want to wear spike collars with a bunch of color with mismatched striped stockings, I don't care. Whatever makes you happy is all that matters. And other than that, I mean, if people have a problem with it, oh well, I mean, it's, I, I honestly never understood how when people are like, oh my god, look at what they're wearing. It's like, well, look at what you're wearing. I mean, I don't judge you, why should you have the right to judge me? Um, but that's a whole other topic. Um, sorry, I didn't really write any of this down. I was going to, but I got really impatient and decided to just make the video. Um, also, if you are a person that's like, if you're looking for more, um, 
colorful type like clothes or you have a bunch of black and you're like, hey, I want to incorporate some color to it. What you can do is either you can um, do it yourself by, you know, taking, like going to Joan Fabrics or taking some old pair of stockings maybe you have or something that's colorful if you want to add color and just like sew it into maybe a skirt or if you're a guy, pants or if you're a guy, a skirt as well. I don't care. Whatever makes you happy. But, um, or you can, you know, maybe dye it or, or you can buy it online, but I know it's expensive, but some, if you find really good stuff, a store, it lasts forever, which is good. Or if you're a person that's like, I don't know where to buy old clothing that's black or whatnot, actually, if you just look in any store and look in, like, the darker clothing collection, I mean, section. Um, what I mean by darker is that, like, you know, like, um, sometimes they're sorted by colors. Like, if you go near the browns, the dark navy blues, like, that kind of area, you'll find a bunch of really cool stuff. Especially in, like, thrift stores or anywhere, basically. If you just take the time to look in the store, you can find a lot. Because I know I have. And, um,. I'm sorry if this is kind of a mess, but, um, this is my advice on it, and basically the bottom line is, whatever makes you happy is all that matters. As long as it doesn't hurt you or anyone else in the process, go for it. That's all that really matters. I mean, if you're not hurting yourself, like I said, or anyone else, I don't really see a problem with it. And, um, sorry if I sound weird because I'm not feeling the greatest. Ah, oh, my laptop fell asleep. But, um, yeah, I'm not feeling the greatest either, so that's just a little update on me. But, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video or message me or whatnot. I'm always open to helping others with their needs if they're just going into the alternative lifestyle or just in general and um... also i'm not um... like advertising these youtubers or stores or anything this is just my personal thought i'm just sharing things that have helped me and what i think can help other people um... so i love you all i hope you guys have been having a great summer or in this case year or season, whatever you're, whatever. But, um, yeah. Love you all. Bye.